Hi guys, you're welcome back to today's tutorial. My name is Amaka and this is Lizama Stitches. In this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a bustier top with keyhole neckline. Now, if you're new to this channel, you're welcome. So kindly subscribe and also turn on the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I upload new videos. So let's get started. Now, this is my pattern paper. Now, this is my dark leg basic bodice pattern. Now, I'm going to briefly explain what I did here. Now, this is my neckline. The neck width I'm working with is 4 inches, while the neck depth is, is 3 inches. Now, this is my shoulder slant. This is my shoulder measurement. This is half, this is half of my shoulder measurement. Now, from this point, I came down by 1 inch for my shoulder slant, which I connected to the neckline. And this is my armhole depth. Now, this is my chest line. This is my check point. This is the bust point. This is the under bust point. This is the waist point. And this is my seam allowance. Now, let me label these lines. Now, this is my chest point. This is my bust point. This is my under bust point. This is my waist point. And this is the seam allowance. The next thing I'm going to do here, I'm going to impute my dart. Now, for me to do that, I'm going to need my nipple to nipple measurement. Now, the nipple to nipple measurement I'm working with is 8 inches. 8 divided by 2 gives you 4 inches. 4 inches. Now, I'm going to add half inch seam allowance, which I'm going because I'm going to be cutting this half inch seam allowance, which I'm going to use to join, which I'm going to use to join the two together. So, I'm going to, I'm going to mark 4.5 inches. here and here so i'll connect the points now on this line i'm going to mark i'm going to mark two inches i'm going to take out two inches here for my dart so i'm going to mark one inch on this side of this on one i'm going to mark one inch on both sides of this line so i'm going to mark one inch here I'll mark one inch here and one inch here. I'm going to do the same thing on this line. One inch here and one inch here. Now on this point, on this line, I'm going to go up by half inch. I'm going to mark half inch and I'll mark, I'll come down by half inch. I went up by half inch and I came down by half inch. Now I'm going to connect these points. <laughs> And this is how I'll do it. I'm going to connect this point with this point and this point with this point with straight lines, just like this. And I'll do the same thing here. Now for this point, I'm going to connect it this way. For this point, I'm going to connect it this way. I'll connect this point to this point, just like this. Now for this point, now the next thing I'm going to do is to find the midpoint of this line. So now this line is nine, the line is nine one quarter. So half of nine one quarter, I'm going to mark half of nine one quarter here. So this is half of this line. So this is half of this line. Now from this point, I'm going to come down by one inch. Come down by one inch. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is this. I'm going to connect this point to this point and this point to this point. Just like this. And I'll connect this point to this point. So let me blend this point. So the next thing I'm going to do now from this point, I'm going to, now because I'm going to cut off one inch from here, so I'm going to extend this line. 
by one inch. Because I'm going to cut off this one inch, I'm going to extend this line by one inch. So now the next thing I'm going to do, now, for, now because I'm going to cut off this, I'm going to cut off this part. So I, this is that I'm going to cut off here. I'm going to return it here. I'll return it here. Now I'm going to cut off one inch from here and I'll also use one inch to join these two together. So I'm going to return it here. So I'm going to mark two inches here. Now one inch for the dart and one inch which I'm going to use to join it together. So I'm going to return it here. So I'm going to construct a new armhole cup. So this is my new armhole curve. Now, now the bus, I'm going to take on this line, I'm going to take my bus measurement on this line. The bus circumference I'm working with is 38 inches. 38 divided by 2. 38 divided by 4 gives you 9.5 inches. Now, now this is 9.5 inches. Now, plus, plus this 1 inch, which I'm going to cut off for the dart, gives you... 10.5 inches plus the one inch which I'm going to plus the one inch which I'm going to use to join this together gives you 11.5 inches. So this is my 11.5 inches. Now I'm going to add two inches seam allowance. Two inches seam allowance. I'm working with two inches seam allowance. Now I'm going to take the same measurements here. Now the boss. Now on the boss point. The ball circumference I'm working with is 38 inches. 38 divided by 4 gives you 9.5 inches. So this is 9.5 inches. Plus 1 inch, which I'm going to use to join these two together, gives you 10.5 inches. Gives you 10.5 inches. Plus 2 inches seam allowance. So this is my two inches seam allowance. So on the underbus point, on the underbus point, I'm going to take the underbus measurement on the underbus point. Now the underbus measurement I'm working with is 34 inches. It's 34 inches. 34 divided by 34 divided by four gives you 8.5 inches. Now 8.5 inches. This is my 8.5 inches. Plus these two inches, I'm going to cut off for that. This two inches that I'm going to cut off from here gives you gives you 10.5 inches plus one inch which I'm going to use to join it together gives you 11.5 inches. So I'm going to mark 11.5 inches here plus two inches seam allowance plus two inches seam allowance gives you 13.5 inches. So on the waist point, I'm going to take the waist measurement on the waist point. Now the waist circumference I'm working with is 35 inches. 35 divided by 4 gives you, gives you 8 3 quarter. So I'm going to mark 8 3 quarter here. Now this is 8 3 quarter. 8 3 quarter. Plus these 2 inches which I'm going to cut off for that. Plus these 2 inches that which I'm going to cut off here. Gives you 10 3 quarter. Plus 1 inch, which I'm going to use to join this together, gives you 11 3 quarter. Plus 2 inches seam allowance gives you 13 3 quarter. So I'm going to connect the point. So I'm going to control the keyhole neckline. Now from this point, from this neckline, I'm, now I'll be creating a new neckline. I'm going to be creating a new neckline. So from this point, I'm going to come down by 1.5 inches. I'll come down by 1.5 inches. Now this is my 1.5 inches. I'll, now I'm going to connect this point to this point. Now just like this, I'm going to do it with my curved ruler. I'm going to do it with my curved ruler just like this. So this is what I'm going to do. Now, this is the easiest way of doing this. This pattern is beginner friendly. So I'm going to connect it this way. So now this is my yoke. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is to trace out this, this part. 
I'm going to trace out this part, but before I do that, I'm going to add my shoulder seam allowance. So the next thing I'm going to do is to, I'm going to trace out this part. I'm going to trace out my yoke. I'll use my tracing wheel to trace out my yoke. So I'm going to place this paper under it. Just like this. And I'll trace it out. So I've traced it out. Now I've traced it out. So this is it. Now this is my yoke. Now this is it. I've traced it out and I added half inch seam allowance here. That is here. I added half inch seam allowance here. So I'm going to keep this aside. Now to create a keyhole from this point, I'm going to come down by 2.5 inches. Now this is optional. It all depends on how open, how big or how small you want your keyhole to be. I'm using 2.5 inches for my keyhole. So I'm going to mark two, from this point, I'm marking 2.5 inches. Now, 2.5 inches. Now from this point, from this point, I'm going to come down to this point. So from this point, I'm going to come down to this point, just like this. Now after that, now take note, this line did not exceed this one. So from this point, now from this point, these 2.5 inches that I marked here, I'm going to draw a sweetheart neckline connecting it to this point. So just like this, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do it this way. So I've connected it to this point. Now this is my sweetheart neck. This is, so this is my keyhole neckline. This is my keyhole neckline. So I'm going to cut it. So this is it. Now this is the front panel. This is the front panel. Now this is how it's going to be. It's going to be something like this. Now when I when I, I'm going to place it like this, you see the keyhole. Now this part is going to be open. So I'm going to drop the back panel. So when I'm cutting this, I'm going to cut. I'm going to cut two of these, and I'm going to cut one of these. This one is going to be unfold. And this is also going to be on fold. I'm going to cut one of these. It's going to be on fold. I'm going to cut one of these. It's going to be on fold. And this, I'm going to cut two of these. So this is the back panel. Now I've drafted my darkless basic bodice pattern. I have a tutorial on how to draft a basic bodice pattern. In case you don't know how to draft a basic bodice pattern, I'm going to leave the link in the description box below so that you can check it out later. Now the next thing I'm going to do is this. I'm going to infuse my dart. Now for me to do that, I'm going to be working with my nipple to nipple measurement. The nipple to nipple measurement I'm working with is 8 inches. 8 divided by 2 gives you 4. So I'm going to mark 4 inches. Because I'm going to cut this, I'm going to add half inch to it. Half inch which I'm going to use to join it. So I'm going to mark 4.5 inches. I'll mark 4.5 inches here and 4.5 inches here. And I'm going to connect this point to this point. So from here, now from this chest point, okay, now let me label these lines. Now this is my chest point. This is my weight point. This is my seam allowance. Now from the chest point, I'm going to come down by one inch. And here, I'm going to, I'm going to remove one inch on both sides. I'm going to remove half inch on both sides of this line. And I'll do the same thing here. Which means I'm removing one inch for my dart. So I'm going to connect this point to this point and this point to this point. So now from this point, I'm going to connect this point to this point. 
because I'm going to be cutting it open. So I'm going to connect this point to this point. For my princess armhole. Now, this is optional. You can decide not to do this. You can decide to do a normal basic body pattern and you just close up your dart after cutting. But because I want to cut this open, that's why I'm doing this. Now, the next thing I'm going to do now, because I'm going to cut this open, I'm going to, now, the one inch that I'm going to use to join this part together, I'm going to return it here. I'll return it here. I'm going to extend this by one inch. So I'll connect this to this. And I'll pull this out. So I'm now, I'm going to draft a new armhole curve. I'll construct a new armhole curve, just like this. So now I'm going to take my horizontal measurement. Now the bust circumference, now every measurement I'm working, I'm going to take, I'm going to take it from this line, just like this. Now this is my zipper allowance. Let me label it. This is my zipper allowance. So every measurement, So every measurement I'm taking, I'm going to take it from this line, just like this, just like this. So now on the chest point, I'm going to take the bust measurement. Now the belt circumference I'm working with is, the bust circumference I'm working with is 38 inches. 38 divided by four gives you 9.5 inches. So this is my 9.5 inches plus one inch, which I'm going to use to join this together, gives you 10.5 inches. Plus two inches seam allowance gives you 12.5 inches. So this is my 12.5 inches. Now on the waist, the waist circumference I'm working with is 35 inches. 35 divided by four gives you gives you eight three quarter. Gives you eight three quarter. So this is eight three quarter. This is eight three quarter plus one inch for this dart. Gives you nine three quarter. Plus one inch, which I'm going to use to join it together, gives you 10 three quarter. Plus two inches, which I'm going to use, plus two inches seam allowance, gives you 12 three quarter. So I'm going to mark 12 three quarter here as well. And I'll connect it. I'm going to. I'm going to eliminate my zipper bulge. And for me to do that, I'm going to, on this point, I'm going to come in by one inch. Now this is optional. You can use half inch, you can use three quarter inch. I'm going to mark three quarter inch. I'm going to use three quarter inch. And now you mark three quarter inch here. So I'll connect it. Now I'll connect this point to this point. So from this line, I'm going to go in by three quarter inch. And I'll mark three quarter inch here. And I'll connect this point to this point. So now this part, this part is no longer useful to me. This part is no longer useful. I'm going to cut it off. So this is my new zipper allowance. So now I'm going to cut it. Before I do that, I'm going to add my half inch seam allowance on the shoulder. So this is the front and this is the back. Now I'm going to cut the yoke on fold. I'm going to cut one of the yoke. I'll cut it on fold. This part, I'm going to cut it one and it's going to be on fold. This one, I'm going to cut two of it. I'll cut two of this and I'm going to cut two of it. So now these are the fabrics I'll be using. Now this is my, 
Now, this is my lace fabric. This is my satin. Now, the satin is going to serve as the under layer, while the, the lining, this is the lining. Now, this is the lace. This is the satin, which is going to serve as the under layer. And this is the lining. So I'm going to use it and cut. So I'm going to cut this. I'm going to cut this and show you the outcome. So this is the front. Now this is the front. I told you that I was going to cut this one on fold. Now this is it. This one was cut on fold. Now this is the yoke. This is the keyhole. And this one is for this. While this is for this. I told you I was going to cut this one on fold. Now this was cut on fold. The yoke was cut on fold. And this was also cut on fold. Now I told you I was going to cut two of these. So that is just it. Now everything I have here, I have the lining. Everything I have here, I have the lining. I told you that the satin was going to serve as the under layer. Now this is the satin. I've placed the the lace on the on the satin. I've used the satin to pad the lace. So this is it. Now this is the yoke. This is the yoke. I have two of this. I'm going to use. I'm going to turn this with. I'm going to line this with this. I'm going to line this with this. Now let me show you how to join. Let me show you how to join your bust here. Now this is how to join it. I'm going to take this to my sewing machine and I'm going to place it this way and I'll sew it. I'm going to sew it this way and I'll sew it to the top and I'll turn it. After sewing, I'll turn and I'll do the same thing here. I'm going to sew it this way. I'll sew it this way and I'll turn it. Now for this one, I'm going to line this one. I'm going to place this. Now for this, I'm going to place this on this right side facing right side. I'm going to place this on this right side facing right side. Now I'm going to start by sewing the neck. After sewing the neck, I'm going to notch. After notching, I'll put the seam allowance on the lining and top stitch. After that, I'm going to sew here. I'll sew here. After sewing, then I'm going to turn it. I'm going to pull it out from here. I'll turn it inside out from here. I'm not going to sew here and I'm not going to sew this part. So that's what I'm going to do to this one, to the yoke. Now that is after I must have padded my bust here. I'm still going to pad this bust here. I'm going to pad it. So that is after I must have padded it. Now, because I don't want this video to be too long, I'm not going to video that part. I have a tutorial on how to pad your bust here. I'm going to leave the link of that video in the description box below so that you can check it out later. So the same way I'm going to sew all these, I'm also going to sew the lining the same way. That is after padding, after ironing my interfacing on it, I'm going to sew it. After that, I'm going to do the same thing on the lining. I also iron interfacing on the lining. So I'm going to do it and show you the outcome of it. Now the back, let me show you the back. Now this is the back. So this is the back. Now this is this. I told you I was going to cut two of these. I told you I was going to cut two of these. And I was also going to cut two of these. So this is this. Now... This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to place this on this right side facing right side. I'll take this to my sewing machine. I'll place it this way and I'll sew it. I'll sew it to this point and I'll turn it. Now for here, I'm also going to do the same thing here. I'm going to sew this. I'll place it right side facing right side and I'll sew it. So the same way I'm going to join this, I'm also going to join the lining the same way. So after sewing them that way, I'm going to notch. After sewing, I'm going to notch. I'm also going to notch the front one. When I join the front one this that way, this way, when I join the front one, I'm also going to notch it. And I'll iron interfacing on the back panel as well. The same thing with the lining. So I'll do it and show you the outcome. So this is the front panel. Now I've joined it. This is how I joined it. I've joined it. After joining it, I notched. I notched it. After notching, I have to trim out trim out a little and I've also padded my bust here so this is the front panel so I'm going to keep this aside now this is the back this is the back panel this is the back panel so let me show you how to join it now this is the front now I'm going to now for me to, to join here to join the lining to the main fabric now this is what I'm going to do I'm going to take this to my sewing machine and I'm going to sew it. Now, the same way I joined the, the main fabric, that's how I did the lining. Now, I'm going to take this to my sewing machine. I'm going to start by sewing the neck. I'll sew the neck with half-inch seam allowance. After sewing the neck with half-inch seam allowance, 
I'm going to notch. After notching, I'll push the seam allowance on the lining and top stitch. Then I'm going to sew here with half inch seam allowance and I'll sew here with half inch seam allowance. After that, I'm going to turn it inside out. For the back, let me show you how I'm going to join the back. This is the back. I'm going to take this to my sewing machine. I'm going to start by sewing the, the neckline. After sewing the neck, I'm going to notch. After notching, I'll put the seam allowance on the lining and top stitch. Now, after that, I'm going to sew here with half inch seam allowance and I'll sew here with half inch seam allowance. And I'm going to turn it inside out. Now, this is my yoke. This is the yoke. I have sewn the yoke. Now, after sewing the yoke, I pulled it out. I turned it inside out from here. So that's what I did. So this is the yoke. When I couple, when I couple those ones, I'm going to show you how to attack, how to join the yoke to the main, to the, to the top. I'm done. I've joined it together. Now this is it. This is the, this is the wrong side and this is the right side. Now this is inside. Let me show you what I did. So I took this to my sewing machine and I had to, I had to sew the neck. After sewing the neck, I pushed the seam allowance on the lining and top stitched. After that, I had to sew here and I had to sew here as well. So now the next thing I did was to turn it. Now this is it. So this is the outcome. So now this is it. Now after now I'm going to iron this. I'm going to give it a thorough press. After that, I'll now attach the yoke. Now this is the yoke. I'm going to place the yoke this way. So I'm going to attach the yoke this way. Now, when I fix the yoke, I'm going to sew it. I'll sew here. I'm going to sew here. I'll just sew here and sew here. I might, uh, I might, I might you can also sew it this way and stop here but i think i'm just going to sew just this part after that when i when i sew here i'm going to hold here i'm going to hold this part and i'll sew this two part together i'll sew this part together and i'll sew here now take note, this is the lining. I'm separating the lining. I'm going to separate the lining. But I'm going to sew this. I'm not going to sew this lining. I'm going to sew this. I'll just hold it and sew it like this. I'll sew it like this. So let me do it and show you the next thing to do. So this is the back. So after sewing it that way, now let me keep this aside. I just want to show you everything I'm going to do. Then after that, I'm going to do it and show you the finished look of this top. So this is the back. Now this is what I did. After sewing the neck, the neckline, I pushed the seam, I notched. After notching, I pushed the seam allowance on the lining and top stitched. After that, I had to sew the zipper allowance and I had to sew the side as well. And I turned it. So this is it. I'm going to iron this. I'm going to give it a thorough press. But before I do that, let me just show you everything that I'm going to do so that I'll just take it to my sewing machine and go so that I'll just do it and show you the outcome. Now, I'm going to hold this with my pin. So I'm going to take this to my, after ironing, I'm going to take this to my sewing machine and I'm going to hold here. Now, this is the lining. I'm not going to hold the lining. I'm only going to hold this part and I'll sew it. I'll sew it this way. So I'm going to do the same thing here. I'll hold this part. I'm leaving the lining. This is the lining. I'm not holding the lining together with it. I'm only holding this part. So I'm going to sew it. Now, after that, I'm going to sew this part and sew this part. So after sewing, this is my keyhole. Now to attach the back panel, this is how I'm going to do it. Now this is the back panel. This is the back panel. So I'll 
So I'm going to now, this is it. This is the lining. This is the lining and this is the main fabric. This is the lining and this is the main fabric. So I'm going to bring the back panel, the lining, and I'm going to join lining to lining, just like this. And main fabric to main fabric, just like this. And I'll sew it. Let me illustrate with pin. Now I'm going to take this to my sewing machine and I'm going to sew it this way. You see? Lining to lining and main fabric to main fabric. And after sewing, I'm going to turn it this way. Now you see? When I turn it, I'm going to have something like this. When I turn it, I'm going to have something like this. You see? This is the right side and this is the wrong side. This is the wrong side. You see how it is? It's the wrong side. When I do it with my sewing machine, it's going to be very neat. I, but I just want to show you everything that I'm going to do. So that I'll just go ahead and do it and show you the outcome. So that's how I'm going to attach the back. Now, after attaching the shoulder, after attaching the shoulder, I'm going to, after attaching the shoulder, this shoulder, I'm going to attach this shoulder and I'm also going to attach this one, this shoulder. The same way I'm going to jo join this, I'm also going to join this one. So after that, I'm going to turn it this way. I'll turn it this way and I'll sew, and I'm going to join here. I'm going to join here. Now, when I was drafting my, when I was drafting my pattern, I left two inches seam allowance. I've used half inch to sew in this, to sew this part, now, what I have left is 1.5 inches seam allowance. So I'm going to use 1.5 inches seam allowance to sew here. And I'll sew the side too. So I'm going to do it and show you the outcome. So this is my bustier top with keyhole neckline. This is what it looks like. Now I've sewn this part. I have to sew this part. You see, I've sewn this part. And I have to sew this part as well. You see. Now this is the shoulder. I've joined the, I've joined the shoulder. This is it. Now... So this is inside. So this is inside. When you look inside, you're not seeing the seam allowance. You see how the inside is. You see. Now this is what I did. I brought the I brought the front panel and the back panel and joined the two the shoulders together. Now I placed the 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 main fabric to the main fabric right side facing right side and I had to sew it. Now this is how I had to sew it this way. And after sewing, I turned it. That is after joining the yoke. So this is what the inside looks like. So this is the inside. This is my seam allowance. Now, I'm going to display this. Now, I'm actually making a dress. I'm making a dress, but I just want to show you how to, I just want to teach you how to make a bustier top with keyhole neckline. So guys, I'm going to stop here for today. Thank you guys for watching. Please hit the like button and the share button. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you've not done so. And also watch other of my videos. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.